All right, YouTube, we're halfway through the first game of the first match here. We're going to play some red-green monsters. Oh, wow, nothing. Sweet. Um, I think I'm still going to cast the Rishkar. Renegade map. Okay. Metallic Rebuke. Okay. I guess... I guess we probably wanted that Rishkar actually more than the Ronus, now that I think about it. Even though Ronus is better with, like, our top decks. Like, Ronus is a better card if our deck starts working. Ronus on two cards. What do we got here? Oh, man. If they play Karn, make a dude... Oh, okay. I was going to say, if they played Karn and made a dude, they could have Metallic Rebuke up. But then, that would be sweet. I'm going to play this Kenra. I guess I could have done that in reverse order. But then my opponent, like, I could have played the Ronus. Then next turn, played the Kenra, pump itself, attack with Ronus. But then, now we can at least abrade this if they try to put a counter on it. That was probably not the slickest play I've ever done. Put a counter on your Ballista. Oh shit, we are so dead. Oh my god. Well, I can draw a land. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent discards a card. So I'm probably going to just shoot this. Discard Ronus. Nah, I'll wait, because I can attack, and then if they block, I can kill this. How greedy am I? Nah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna attack. Yeah, we're, we're super dead. We're super dead, unless my opponent blocks. Which they did. So we're super dead. So now I kind of want to hit two lands, so I can discard one of them. We're going to smoke this. All right, we're going to put Glory B on top. And then we're going to ditch the Abrade to this. And then struggle to survive this. We got, we got some plays here. My opponent's almost out of cards. And we do have a Glory B coming off the top, which, like, isn't very good against this deck, but it's, like, something. Oh, nice. Just like my opponent's just playing like cards I can't beat. Dot deck, I guess. Alright, at least we can get this out the battlefield. And then we'll figure out what to do with this 5 6 next turn, I guess. Try and figure it out at least. You know, Philly, we were at 150 followers before you decided that your digestive tract had to work. What is this? Oh, they're going to try. They're going to merc this Jade Light Ranger. Oh, imagine they got the value off the Traveler's Amulet. Two. I think I'm just gonna use my mana. I don't know if they could have any graveyard recursion, but like I don't have any Kenras in my graveyard, so I don't have any recursion, so I'm just gonna like clear it. So I can at least I can exert on this next turn. Which is pretty mopey. Alright, we keep drawing like enough cards to make me want to keep playing magic. All right, just kidding. Now you be deck. Neither map nor amulet feel better than other artifacts. That CMC. Yeah, I was wondering if they were like, 
if they worked like the stars in modern do. All right, so we want this thrashy bee, th thrashy bee. Um, deck does look cool. Want this? What's going on, Phil? What are you doing? Walking ballista seems kind of shitty. What are you doing? Oh, you're just going nuts. Um, I guess this struggle to survive hits big creatures. I can bring like one more card. I guess whatever. We'll bring in a Chandra. Chandra at least like is a threat that's different than everything else. I don't, I don't know. I can like attack and then shoot something. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Do you want to throw down? Yeah, that's like, that's probably means we can't win actually. Yeah, like if we actually can't beat all right. I almost feel like I have to mulligan this hand. <sighs> because, like, we just have nothing going on. We can completely disrupt their game plan, which is probably fine. But, like, I don't know. We guess we have three. I'm just going to keep this because we have an accel we have acceleration. Though it might be, it might be, like, right to get rid of this hand. But, like, whatever. Oh yeah, dude. Get in there for one. I feel like my opponent. Oh, we can't. That's a card. We just we can't beat that card. We literally can't. Yeah, this card's so good. Cringe, I can't deal with that white border. I think this is a I think this is a really cool art. It does suck that it's kind of a white border though. So one, two, three, four. Do I have to kill this? Whatever. I'm gonna no no don't block. Oh no. Alright, whatever. At least this gets an artifact off the board. I meant to abrade that attack, then abrade it. But I guess that's not how Moto works. It's not how magic works, actually. Like, I got too far into combat and then zoned out. Just feels like Aether Revolt draft. I got to that once or twice. You had the little what? You had Verterous Gear Hulk at Uncommon in that set? Which was just like stupid. So dumb that that card was legal. Yeah. It was just so dumb that you could play that card. It was an uncommon. It's dead. I don't remember what it was called. But I think it was a, it was five mana. I don't remember if it was a four four or a five five, but it put all the counters on all the rest of your stuff. Hmm. My opponent's got a metallic rebuke. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're not gonna play in the metallic rebuke. Dude, this Bront. Threat Brontodon's gonna take me to town, take me the whole way. Look at this, this card's so cool. Look at that. Play a bunch of dinosaurs that messed with the wrong dude. I want to kill this, but it doesn't actually do anything. I'm gonna play Land of War Elves. They want to counter this Land of War Elf and like be my guest. I'm fairly certain that they're getting pretty close to the Herald of Anguish. All right, 
I'm not super worried about it, because I actually just don't think we can beat that card. Oh, we're on F6 mode there. I guess it's better to not... Well, I should have... I should have... Well, at least this thing's not attacking me. And I could have at least got that, then abraded this. Yeah, that was a mistake. Because if they get the Herald of Anguish down, I was just F6. If they get the Herald of Anguish down, then this becomes like two minus one minus ones. Which is good. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of checked out of this game. Like, I don't think there's a good way for us... I don't think there's a good avenue to victory. Disciple. Exile the top card of your line. When this enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic card from your graveyard. You may cast non-land cards. Okay. Oh, nice. So they're going to cast this. With that on the stack. So that they can't rebuke me. Hit this. We're just going to blow that up also. Now that was a waste of a slot. I kind of want I think I might actually have to play this card. No. I'm going to draw a Phoenix or a Glorybringer here and just puke. Oh, that was dumb. I, I did that in reverse order. All right, so I'm going to wait for them to scry. And then I'm going to shoot this. Card's cool. Art's really cool. I right, let him scry. I think I'm gonna cycle this shelter ticket. We have so many lands in our deck that we're gonna draw lands. All right. Um, I guess I should just discard this land. I'd rather discard a land than a potential spell. Yeah. We're good. We're good. So, yeah, I guess that was just my... I guess if we'd have cycled the land, we'd have got it. We'd have discarded the elves, but that's just being results-oriented, I guess. Yeah, so I guess I just should have, I should have just mulliganed my hand. I guess I like underest I guess I underestimated my opponent's deck and the fact that it, it actually functions without artifacts. So that was that was a mistake on my part. I guess I just gotta realize that like I'm the beat down and mulligan into a hand that is beat down, not necessarily super disruptive. <coughs> Yeah, that's definitely cool. Um, I'm going to keep his hand because we have a Magma Spray. Like we can interact with a with a quick deck early. Rishkar is a pretty good draw, especially if we draw a 1 or a 2 drop. Okay, so we're playing against a green-black deck. Lanoroth. Alright, that's a pretty good draw. That's a really good draw. <laughs> I'm going to play my Hesup Oasis next turn in case I draw a Jade Light Ranger. Looks like my opponent's playing a nice little cool mana base here. I assume this gets pushed. There's got to be a reason they kept their hand. Their mana sucks. So they must have either a bunch of payoffs or fatal pushes. This kind of makes my... Rishkar awkward. Probably still gonna play it though. Jade Light Ranger. Okay, so they're gonna keep their siphoner, I would assume. They bin the siphoner. Okay. I guess I'm going to play the Ronus. Or is the Rishkar better? I'd like to play the Rishkar when I can get counters on two different things. And then next turn I can go like 
uh, Rishkar put two counters on things, and then whatever. Um, Magma spray something. There's a Hydra. Okay. I'm going to do this on my main phase. Because, like, they might have Blossoming Defense. Surprised they ditched the Siphoner. Maybe they have another Siphoner, but if they have another Siphoner, I can come down and uh, Glory Bringer it next turn. As long as I don't have another Blossoming Defense. I wonder if there's a lower, there's probably a much lower to the ground version of this deck you can play with Blossoming Defense. Okay. That's tough. Okay, so 4, 11, 8, pump twice. I don't think I'm going to block it now, but I probably will end up blocking it next turn. I'm probably not going to attack with the Ronus. That's a really good draw. The problem is I'm just like super, super dead. I think I've got to play the Phoenix. The problem is for me to even pump this. I guess I can pump, block and pump. Yeah, so I've actually got to play the Phoenix. And then pass. And if they go and... Uh, if they like Varaska's Contempt this, I'm going to block the Bristling Hydra and then pump it with the Ronus. They gotta have a Vraska's Contempt or like a Verderous Gear Hulk or something like that. Been a slightly clunky draw from the home team. Okay, that's good. If we can make it out of this turn, then we're free to attack with both of our air creatures. Excuse me. So they kept the Siphoner. Siphoner's on top. So I can exert the Glory Bringer on this Jade Light Ranger to get at least some value out of it. One, two, three. How much damage is this? I'm going to exert this just to deal with some cards. Because they're going to play this next turn. No, I don't want to exert this. I want to do this next turn. Save this for when I can get maybe get some surprise damage out of nowhere. Because <clears throat> next turn, they're at 11. We could actually go like play Resilient Kenra, pump one of these, and then kill them. Providing they don't have like a removal spell. Okay, so there's that. We know they drew the Siphoner. Okay. Uh the the five three one. Or the the uh Herald of Anguish. Okay, so one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can pump this just two, six. I'm one mana short. Unless, what does this do? So this is plus three, plus three. So one, two, three, four makes this seven, nine. I'm still short. So I guess I just kill this. Don't let them go down again. Or do I just attack them and like 
<coughs> put them on notice. Because they have Glimpsy Siphoner X. This is probably going to try to kill this next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three mana available. I guess I can actually attack. Can I attack with everything? I can attack with this and this and my opponent. And then they have to block. If I resilient Kenra on this, then they have to pump energy to kill this. Two. Because they, they jump here. This block's here. Sorry, this is kind of tough math. So two gets over. Two plus four is six. Plus... One more pump is seven. And they jump here. This dies. Because they have to block, right? Because if they, they block this, if they let this go, then five, nine. So they got to jump both of these creatures here. Both these creatures have to be blocked. And they only have enough energy to make this. They would have to go like snake. Yeah, I think I'm going to just, I think I'm going to play this. And then attack with everybody because they have to block both of these creatures. Oh, dogs out there. Give me one second. Billy, hey. What are you doing in here, you little stinker? Let me just do this again. So they block, jump here. If they don't do here, then the activation kills them. So they only have a Bristling Hydra or this. They can have up to six power here. Yeah, so we're just gonna swing with the team. And we have a chump blocker. We're going at our opponent. We'll be at 10. 10 with a chump blocker. A chump blocker that's really good next turn. But this Veraska only kills, like, only effectively kills this thing. Generally, our deck seems underpowered. What about it seems underpowered? It's not doing cool things, it's just like a curve out aggro deck, right? Like, it's not scared of godding anybody. So I pump. I'm only gonna get one of these anyways. I might as well pump this, right? Cause like they pump this twice, these trade. I'm at 10. This fatal push kind of blows us out there, which I didn't play around. <laughs> I can buy that this deck might be a little underpowered without Lana War Elf starts. I could buy that. I could buy that. I think the Mono Red still might be the best deck in the format, though. With like the Chain Whacker. Or like the God Pharaoh's Gift deck. So you, I don't, I don't really see, my opponent's got to like, Veraska, kill the, kill the Phoenix, and then Fatal Push the Token, and one of their only other cards, Glincy Siphoner. I don't think so, like, right, I mean, he's, like, 
What's his energy doing? It's not like he's going to be drawing... I don't think he's going to be drawing cards this game. Like, he's pretty dead before he draws cards, I think. Tight game. Hunter viewers, everybody again, thank you all for showing up and hanging out. I appreciate all of you being here. If you guys like to see, please hit the follow button. We got a couple in today. Okay, so he can scare of God back my rekindling Phoenix. Okay. So he gets the Phoenix back. So let's think, one, two, three, we have two activations. So we tag with everything. We have to activate here. Or do I just play a huge ballista? Because then he comes in for four. If I play a huge ballista, I can't block. If I pump this, if I pump this and attack, this doesn't give trample, right? If I pump this and attack with it, then this is four power. This is six. They've got to block both creatures. And then I can play the Ballista for a chump blocker. So I think that is the line here. I don't know what they, they probably block with, maybe they block with Bristling Hydra and Scarab God, I would assume. Then I would have to pump the Bristling Hydra one more time, which puts me to nine against a Rekindling Phoenix. Do they get the token with this? But it checks their graveyard, right? From your graveyard. So the token doesn't do anything. They can get Glorybringer next turn, though. But what does Glorybringer do? As long as they bring Glorybringer back in my upkeep, I die. But I don't think I can beat that, right? Unless I leave back two blockers, and then I can block the Scarab God... And the thing the glory bringer exerts on. So I think I'm gonna pump this. Attack and then see what they do. Awesome game. Okay, that block's there. So I think this beats me. So my opponent passes. So now I pass. That resolve.
This kills me, but I don't think I have a better line here. Like, the play there for me was to hope that my opponent didn't make it so I had to pump, I think. Or maybe I was just supposed to, like, hold... But then I'm dead in the air, so don't bring... If he brings back the glory bringer, I'm dead. Yeah, now I'm dead. Well, yes, but their Hydra still has energy to survive, forcing you to blow life and mana. Yes. Yes, but I also made it so they were dead on board to the, to the uh, just the Phoenix. And I didn't know they had a Scarab Guard for me. So I think, I think there's like, I don't think it's necessarily wrong. But I don't think it's necessarily wrong. But it, it didn't work out well for us. So these Magma Sprays are garbage. I kind of want Chandra on the play. I feel like the struggle survives are good against Scarab God decks. I want the Abrades. Um, I think these Resilient Kenras are probably a little worse because their creatures are huge. Yeah, I think we're going to try this. The Rekindling Phoenix might not be super great because I assume they play Walking Lista as well. So maybe I cut one of those and bring in Bronthan on. We didn't see Hadana's Climb. That was a really long game. And most of the time the Hadana's Climb decks don't play Scarab God, right? So maybe it's like a bigger deck. I don't know. Maybe they could just be playing the Scarab God also. I can cut like one abrade to just be more aggressive. I think we're just gonna try to curve out on the on the play. What did play there? DW Shet. Um, uh, I think we're going to keep this hand. It's not great, but I don't think you can mulligan this hand. Like, we can play Ballista into Rishkar, which is good. I do think we're going to be settling in for kind of a long game here, which is, it's nice to have the Chandra's if we're going to play long. I think I want the fourth Rekindling Phoenix, even though it's really bad against the pile removal. Their own Land of War Elf. I think I'm going to just kill this Land of War Elf. Yeah, I think we're just going to kill this. This feels pretty mopey, but I don't want my opponent to, like, jump ahead on mana. <coughs> and we have another one. It's like a shit. It's like an adult decision. Veraska's Contempt. So they have a, they're putting a Veraska's Contempt on top of their deck. All right, so we drew the second Phoenix. So I think I'm going to just jam this. If my opponent tries to contempt it, I'm just going to let it... I don't even think I'm going to fight it with a struggle, even if they do. I am going to block this Jade Light Ranger if they give me the opportunity, though. All right. Okay, so I probably have to kill that. Well, they're not drawing a card next turn, so I don't think I have to kill that. I think I can just attack and then play another Phoenix and then do something like struggle and play um, struggle and play Llanowar Elf next turn or play Llanowar Elf and or Rishkar. No, probably not Rishkar. I could Rishkar onto these two and then struggle, which is a kind of a good turn. Okay, so there's a Contempt. We get smacked here for seven. 
we gotta kill this. And then just kind of like, hope we don't see a Scarab God. Blossoming defense? No way. Oh man. Blossoming defense out of a deck this grindy. I literally thought to myself, what if they have blossoming defense? When they attacked me there, and I was like, nah, they don't when they left that green that just green man up, I was like, nah, they don't have blossoming defense. That's probably gonna win on the game. Yeah, this is another contempt. Yeah. Um. Get this down. I think we're gonna play this and then pass the turn. I've got to, I probably have to cycle this shelter ticket. This deck looks nice here. It's just a big mid-range pile. I would think this deck probably has a decent matchup against us. Might as well just look to trade. Don't play a Scarab God. So Veraska. This is like cards we can't beat. We just got bullied here. Like. I don't really know what like I can I can tick down on this and attack the Chandra. But then they've got two menace creatures. I go to three, I can't kill either of them. I need like running glory bringers, I guess, for the rest of the game. We're gonna play it out. I think I'm, I'm I'm probably pretty dead, but but we might as well give it an honest shot here. This deck looks nice. Walking Blista is an out, I think. Okay. <coughs> I should try to empty the graveyard. Okay. When I get a chance. It's another Gaunti. Chandra. They can cast it. I mean, you'll deal two damage to me, which is probably better. Makes so both creatures are lethal. And the Chandra's lethal. Yeah, we're super dead. We just got bullied. I don't really think there's any other way to like to like compare here. We got smacked a round. Yeah, we just got we got beat up. I don't even I mean I obviously like when you play a game of magic the last nine turns, there's like we're getting smoked in this league. There's obviously like other lines you could have taken, you know? But like Man, I think to beat a deck like that, we realistically need like Carnage Tyrant. We need like Carny T. Like we don't have a lot of value cards in our sideboard, I don't think. I think we've got like our God Pharaoh's Gift slash aggro cards, which these are like God Pharaoh's Gift cards. These are like this there, and these are also like this Devil's aggro cards. We have another Scarab Rod card, then we got some value. But there's not a lot of value in this deck at all. Maybe I need more of that. I'm not sure. Maybe like to go over to like my plan against mid range decks. I need a better plan. Which I'm not super sure about. Anyways, while we're waiting for the next match here, I appreciate y'all showing up. My name is Dylan Hovey, and I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Um, 
If you want to support me further, go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to that. I up I upload all of my streams on the YouTube, so you can always see all of my content there. That's the best way to support me, trying to get monetized there. It doesn't cost you any money. Um, if you want to talk magic with me, check me out on Twitter. Um, Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. They're, between their team and their podcast, they're just great for the community. And a store called Gamer Craze is where I learned to play magic in upstate New York. I have their Crystal Commerce link below, so you guys should check that out. Yeah, because they buy and sell magic cards at a really good rate in order to keep the college environment good there. So, hey, what are you doing? Don't, don't, don't bite that. Dad, play with me. I'll play with you, buddy. As soon as we scrub out of this league, this hand's pretty medium, but I think it's pretty hard to, to discard lands and, or to throw back lands and spells. I don't really want to play a Ballista for one. It's making me a little mana efficient, but next time I can play a Ballista for two if this survives. And then Siphoner. Oh, sweet. We have to play Ballista for two. I do like Blist in this deck. Just kind of on theme with good early, good late. I guess I shouldn't. And this is like one of the best cards in the format. So I'm kind of glad that I've got a lot of answers to this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attack for one. And then I'm gonna wait, hold up my braids, put a counter on this at the end of their turn. <coughs> yeah, we'll just hit him. Hold these up, hopefully we draw land. We really wanna land this turn. Land would be very good, there we go. We play 25 of them, so we should draw them. And this is just coming in. This is getting Verask's Contempt. Or Counterspelled, it feels like. Yep. Cast down. Nice. There's a, that card's... This card's probably going to be very good in the format, I think. I don't know how many of the Legends are going to be playable. Because they're like Baneslayer Angel kind of cards. I think I'm going to hold this because 5 is the top of our curve. And... We need some help, I think. It's contempted, yep. Yeah. Like, th these are basically blanks right now, and we need more cards. So, I'm gonna hold this to cycle. All right, that's dead. I'm gonna save that to combo with a Scarab God. Let me, no, actually, I should do this first because I don't want to get like Supreme Willed. And then I will cycle this. Actually, I'll wait, see if my opponent plays a Scarab Guide, then I'll just like a Braid spray it. We can just cycle this in the turn. Opponent missed a land drop, so they have three spells, which is pretty scary. We're punished if we draw a Land of War Elf here, but Land of War Elf's not even that good. Rich card's okay. Mana dude right on time. I just go bing bing. Alright, we got five power on the board. So we're doing we're doing something. How did how did do you find the untamed Kavu? Uh, just go to card hoarder. Card hoarder's got all of them. Card hoarder's got what you need. All right, enter to the Torrential Gear Hulk set aspect of this game. I'm going to attack first. Maybe they're a mid-range deck. They haven't played a draw spell yet.
Oh, I should have done this. No, this was a mistake. I should have done this pre-combat so that if they have Supreme Will, I can play around it. That was bad. Um, play this. I drew two lands, which, like, isn't great. Oh, I think they're sweet. I think they're sweet. Like, they have Vigilance and Trample, and they're good late. They're good early, and they're good late. I'm going to cycle this. I'm just going to abrade this. I could... I, I want to be able to, like, at least hit a Scarab Guide. Like, I can attack into a Scarab Guide, then Magma Spray it after combat. If he counters this, then I'll just Magma Spray it. We're kind of, like, not really beating... One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're going to counter this, looks like. Okay. All right, we're going to let this get committed. Cycle into it. And we're just holding this to play around Scarab God. I don't think... We're not going to play around whatever the card is. Torrential Gear Hulk. The, the God's much worse than Hulk. Looks like my opponent might be out of gas. We haven't yet. But there's only two in the deck. Well, look at that. Again, I made a mistake not playing, not doing this pre-combat to play around Supreme Will. All right, well, at least they're going to harass us content this. That's why this card's sweet. It's good. It's good early. It's good late. I added this to the deck when I added Ronus because I just wanted another four power card. <coughs> if they play a Gaunti, I'm gonna puke. Just actually hurl. All right. I mean, what are you gonna do? That's a really good draw. They can't have very many more of those left. I do not know. No, it's nothing like... So it gave me Kabu Chameleon there, so I don't know. Man, GG bots, weird. Okay, this is probably this is likely going to be very good for my opponent. That's really good. Pick this off. Just put the card into the MTG bot. Just go exclamation point card, whatever you want to do. So we can't, we get us like Scarab guy doesn't beat us. Oh, it has vigilance, which is the difference. But it's basically the same card, it looks like. Alright, um... That kind of sucks, because the Contempt kills my... So is it worth... Is it worth spraying this and then taking this out... With this, they don't gain the two life. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I mean, I wanted to keep it. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to make it a two turn clock, or they, like they're dead on the board. 
I think I'm going to leave this because like I'm not really scared of the Hulk. I'm scared of a Scarab God. The Hulk's already done its damage. That does it. There we go. And we got a good draw there, obviously. But, all right, so in this matchup, we want this. I think we want Scavengers in order to eat up, um, can't think of it. We want Scavengers in order to eat, what are those cards called? Um, Champion Wits. I don't think I really want a braids. I think I would rather, and I don't want the struggle to survive. I don't think I want a braid. I think I would rather play magma spray. So let's see what this looks like here. Didn't even need the magma spray. Didn't I? Right? Because I had to kill the magma spray to get that thing off of him. Because I would have had to... Yeah, I needed the Magma Spray, right? Yeah, dude. This is, uh, this is the biggest stream I've had in a little while. Um, I guess the Kavu is kind of like not super great here. And probably the Rishkar. Brontodon kills Bloodfast, but I don't think my opponent's bringing in Bloodfast against me. You attacked with everything. Opponent takes six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. So it didn't matter. You're right. Um, I think I'm going to cut another Rishkar and then bring in another Magma Spray. Because, like, it can kill Walking, it can kill, uh, what's a dumb card? Deals with Champion of Wits, Glint Sieve Siphoner, and this card just, like, we're not, we're not winning the game with, like, pure creature size, I don't think. So now we've got, we've got 9, 12 removal spells in the deck. Now, why would you keep a braid there, Cypher Canadian? I'm going to keep this hand because I think Rekindling Phoenix is really good. We have a redraw and we can answer Walking Blood or Glen Sea Siphoner. This hand's not very good, and I understand that, but this is a redraw. And um, actually, it's my second red source, but I'm going to draw another red source. If I didn't have a way, like if this had been any other card and I couldn't deal with this this right here, this siphoner, I would have mulliganed. <coughs> to kill Gear Hulk. I think that's a little narrow. Once Gear Hulk's hit the battlefield, it's kind of already done what it's gonna do. And I would like to just be ahead of like I would like to just be ahead of the Gear Hulk. And the struggle to survive still does that. Okay. Touche opponent. All right, well, I guess I should have. No, I should have put the first Jade Light. That was stupid. I should have put Jade Light in my graveyard. Because it's not a removal spell. And it's not like a Glorybringer or a Chandra. Jade Light's good, but it's not exactly what I need right now. Can't block it. And now I'm going to play... Okay, there's an Aetherborn. So he's been pretty naked to a Scarab God, but I can't get outdrawn out of the game here. I tried that card. I didn't really like it. 
I have so many cards that I can deal with this. I think I'm just going to wait on this. <coughs> Cast down chart. My opponent's ahead on cards. Okay, so no Scare of God is nice. Um... Gotta get this Rask is Contempted. The next turn I will play a Ballista on three. Yep. I couldn't do that in the opposite way because my Ballista wouldn't be big enough to save my Phoenix. My opponent plays like a Vrat, no. I might go Ballista, nah. I could go Ballista for two to play around Sensor. I know this deck sometimes plays Sensor. Leaves me kind of wide open to a sensor, but like. Oh, they're cycling? Okay. So I kept their land. All right, nice. I'm not going to block this, though. My Ballista can trade. Like, they, these just trade. My Ballista's got, like, much more value than that, I think. If I don't have a lot to do on this turn, I might just, like, exile the graveyards. Alright, the second one's kind of annoying. It's not bad. One, two, three, four. Plus cycle, plus or plus exile, plus land. Should I attack, pump? All right, so we got a twofer. I probably could have timed this better, but But we did get the twofer, which is like ultimately what we were looking for out of our walking blista, why we didn't block last turn. So, but I'm sure I could have timed that better. I don't have anything going on with my mana, so I'm going to do this right now. I have no Kenras in the graveyard. I don't want like a Scarab God to come down and just clean my clock. I have so many cards that deal with this that I'm not going to do... I'm just going to leave this here. I really don't want to, like, use two cards to deal with this. Especially with, like, the Magma Spray and something else can deal with the Scarab God. I don't really know how I'm winning because of how much, like, life total my opponent has. So now I can block with the Llanowar Elf and then Magma Spray it. All right. I really don't want to use two removal spells on this gifted ether board. It puts me in kind of a tough spot. This makes me want to have more braids in the deck now, now that I see this three toughness thing. Why do they only play it for one? <coughs> they must have a Varaska's Contempt. Only playing it for one seems kind of odd. So this is okay because we can block it then bring it back. We'll just hope that they don't Contempt it. 
Long game. Long drawn out fun game. Yep. Okay, we saw that coming. Me like a glory bringer off the top to deal with this. So I need a Chandra. Glory bringer. That's pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I do it for six. Oh, that sucks because it comes, it makes so I still don't have an answer to this. Because that's three. Yeah, I can't let him get something back with his scare of God. So my out is like he bricks. I draw one of my struggle to survive Chandra or something to just block this. All right, that's that's pretty good. Eat the ballista. That's actually really good. Cause this kind of like cancels this thing out. Okay, we're in the same spot. He's got a brick, I need to draw a good one. It keeps me alive. What a weird game. All right, now we're dead. And I took a lot of damage from this, but like, I don't know. I, I definitely was like punished by having so many magma sprays in my deck and not a braids. Because of the, the Glen Sleeve Siphoner there. That's 61 cards. On the play, all of my cards are better on the play. Maybe these Ronuses aren't that great because of Veraska's Contempt and like the Death Touchers. You can buy that. You should play Goblin Tribal Aggro. Probably not today, but it does sound pretty cool. I really don't want this many. I guess maybe I want this much removal. It's a lot of removal. I think I do want to mix. Harvester might be good. Well, you can just fatal push the harvester, I guess. I got worked yesterday by a uh, chain whacker. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a this is a hand. We can deal with Glen Slee Siphoner, which is what matters. We'll play this to show some weakness. <coughs> okay, why, Deathbreed and Jin? Thank you very much for the follow. Why do you think I should do that? That was a fun game. Long drawn out. Cards annoying as fuck. All right, we're just gonna deal with this because I have ways to deal with Siphoner and the Scare of God. Champion wins, okay. I'll probably just ping the champion. Play this for two. Well, actually I'm gonna play the Phoenix. I'm gonna attack with my resilient Kenra and then play the Phoenix, I think. Save this walking blister for when my opponent we ditch the siphoner. So that means my opponent either has no lands 
or another siphoner. So I think I'm just gonna attack and then play this rekindling phoenix. Trade off. I'd like to get my Kenra back and then shuffle the library again. Okay. Get a dragon coming in there. I would like a land so that I can bring this Kenra back. I don't understand why I did that. You can, um, Martin Sam, it's on the, there's a button on the screen you can see. Um, I think I'm just going to bring this back to be mana efficient. I lose the value from the pump. But in this matchup, the pump doesn't really matter. Because I would like to be able to... Yeah, okay. There's, we got a Scarab God coming to town. Scarab God is coming to town. Um... Wow, dude, I gotta get rid of this Nightbot. This Nightbot, I'm looking at some bot on bot violence here. Two, four, six, seven. Play this for now. This Kenra has not been very good in this matchup. I would like to know this there. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. Torrential Gear Hulk, that's so bad. Ugh. I can play this for four. I guess I can pick off these two and attack. I'm I'm, pro I'm pretty dead here. They've become self-aware. I mean, they're just going to scare God them back, but I've got to attack somehow, right? I mean, they, they were going to eat this. Like, I guess it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we're just dead anyways. It literally didn't even matter. Like, they, they, we just been attritioned out at that point. I mean, I just put the champion in the graveyard for them. But it's either that or just don't attack or block. And then eventually they get, like, a five. They just reanimate a gear hold and they just start beating me down. Yeah, there was just no way out of that one. So we got our asses handed to us in this league. Let's go look back at the deck here. That was a one-sided ass-kicking. 